Hello, my fellow witches and wizards. Today, I'm going to be telling you about my Huffle, my Harry Potter pillow. This is a really soft pillow. As you can see, it says first year, Hogwarts school, uniform, equipment, books, list, and list. Right here, it has a picture of a frog. And here has a picture of a cauldron. It's got really smooth gold, like, um, I don't know what you'd call this decoration. And it's got a really cool, angry looking sorting hat. It's really soft. It's got a grey background. Um, I got it for Christmas this year. And I'm 99% sure it's from Target. Let me just... It doesn't actually say. It's got the Harry Potter thing. It's made in China. It's a cushion. And I just love it to bits. Um, I would highly recommend anybody who loves Harry Potter to get this. It's a great decoration for the bed. Um, it would go great with like a blanket or quilt or pillow set that you could get. Um, I haven't seen many people around with these kind of pillows. Like, um, They're more for decoration than actually holding, but even if you were just going to hold it, it's really soft. I would highly recommend it. Um, another thing I would like to show you guys is my Hufflepuff scarf. Now, I've taken the Pottermore test like four times because, honestly, I've forgotten my password. <laughs> um, but I'm either, all the time I either get Hufflepuff or Slytherin. And they're totally opposite, so it's very confusing, but still. So this is a knitted scarf. It's black and yellow. It's very stretchy, as you can see. Um, I've had this for like a while now. My boyfriend's mum got it for me. It's got the Hufflepuff logo. It's stitched in, so it's got on, like that on the back. Uh, this was from Target. I know that much. <laughs> it's super soft. It's really long, too. Like, if I put it on, I have to wrap it around a few times. But it is super nice, and I love it. Like, I wear it all the time. It normally sits on my bed, where it can be seen when I walk in as a decoration. Now, I don't really have a lot of Harry Potter stuff. I have, like, a bare minimum that people have gotten for me because I'm poor and, <laughs> like, getting money for frivolous things like my Harry Potter stuff isn't really that important when it comes to food and stuff like that. But if you guys want to see any more videos or want to have a look at any other things that I have, I'll do a few videos. Uh, I'll link my email down below and if any of you guys want to talk to me, or if you have any questions, just let me know. Because, honestly, I feel like I'm one of the, like, relatable, like, I'm going to be try and be one of the relatable YouTubers. Because, honestly, I'm sitting in my bedroom. I'm 17 this year. I'm a weird Harry Potter fan. I love Disney and, like, Barbie movies. Don't judge me. Um, and, yeah, so any questions, any thoughts, just let me know. Any theories, especially, because I love the theories. If I had to ship Hermione with anyone, I would so ship her with Draco. <coughs> I reckon she'd be great with Draco because the things the movies never say, which I said in the books, would frustrate the fuck out of me. Frustrate me a lot is when they don't tell you about Draco being the second just below Hermione in grades. Or the, when Hermione, they make them making Hermione's dress pink instead of blue. Or showing that, Mo, like, he cried for Moaning Myrtle. Like, he was so susceptible just for Moaning Myrtle. And, like, he didn't want to kill Dumbledore. He hated the thought of killing Dumbledore. But if you read the books, you'll see the line, I'm sorry, I don't want to do this. He has my parents. He has my mum. He did it because he wanted to protect his family. I know Draco can seem off as, come off as a bad guy. But honestly, was he really or was he just doing it for his family? Anyway, that's enough for today, guys. I will post another video soon. Uh, as I said, my email is down the bottom. Uh, leave, please like and subscribe because I honestly don't know how YouTube works. So if my videos are shit, just let me know. Um, yeah, so just let me know. Peace.